Okay, so today we are going to um, film a video I've been looking forward to for a couple of weeks, but also kind of dreading. I've been looking forward to it because I think it's going to be really funny, uh, but I've been dreading it because I think it's going to be super embarrassing. We're here today to go over the goals I had set at the start of 2021. I gave myself 21 reading goals for 2021, but the idea of them was to, to make them like 21 smaller, more manageable goals. And the problem with this strategy, which I was really excited about at the time, was that I set them in early January and then I pretty much forgot to even check in on them by January 20th. So I don't even remember what most of these were, let alone whether I did them or not. So I'm going to be kind of figuring this out as I go. Uh, it's gonna be so bad. I swear to God, if I get four out of 21, I will be surprised and mildly proud. Because <laughs> I, I think it's gonna be even worse. Okay, uh, let's just get to this embarrassment. Um, let's check out goal number one. So my first goal for 2021 is to do a big books project where I read one big chunker of a book at least every quarter. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, for one. Um, the only big, big book that I did read last year was um, the worst book I read last year, uh, Ducks Newbury Port. The one, you know, beautiful thing that came out of this goal was I made, you know, p potentially the best video that I ever made on this channel. <laughs> that video will go down in infamy. I think. But yeah, I also, I think, wanted to read Ulysses, which I didn't read. I wanted to read potentially The Brothers Karamazov, which I didn't read. I wanted to read The Instructions by Adam Levin, which I didn't read. So yeah, I, I failed this one terribly. The second goal is one that some of you know already. I'm going to host a Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn readathon between January and April. This is an embarrassing failure. So 0 for 2. Um, I did host this for all of January. Uh, went great. I made three videos. So the idea was to make three videos for each of the four books in this series. I made three videos in January and that's when I stopped. I did read the second book, but then my life started to go sideways in a number of ways. And this is my favorite series of all time. And I was really sad and depressed for a while. And uh, I didn't want to make videos about this series that I love so much while I was like really sad. I didn't think it would do the series justice. So I stopped doing them. So um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, this was, this did not happen. Next is to read at least 12 books for my top 125 novels of all time project. I'm not even going to check how many I read. I definitely didn't read 12 from this list. I may have read two, maybe three. Oh, I don't even know what's going on with that project anymore because it kind of, it's turned into something I didn't really want it to be. I wanted to read from like some of the best books of all time. And I think the lists that I gathered those books from, I think it's more about 125 of the most influential books of all time. I don't know if they're necessarily the best books of all time, and I was looking for quality rather than, you know, cultural impact. Okay, 0 for 3, number 4. Next is less a goal about what I want to read and more about how I want to read, because I want to start taking kind of meticulous notes as I read every book that I read. No, I didn't do this. To be fair, I, I did start doing this, but I've, I've discovered like this is just really, really hard for me. Taking notes on a book, writing in the margins, having like a reading diary. I just, I love the idea of it and I'm gonna keep trying to become that person. It's just, I just, yeah, I, it takes me totally out of the flow of reading. And if I wait to kind of to finish my reading session and then, and then write some about it, I just don't want to because I'm just kind of mentally tired at that point. That's why I stop reading. So this doesn't really work for me yet, but I, I love the idea of it and I want to get better at it. I've started doing it at the start of 2022. I'm sure it won't last, but you know, at first you don't succeed. Keep failing till you die. Next, I want to organize a Giller Prize shortlist event of some kind. <laughs> no, I didn't do this. My friends, Aaron and Jill, who I love very much, and I know they're watching this, so hi, Aaron, hi, Jill. Jill is furious that I named her second both times there. We did do some stuff around the Giller, just the three of us, just kind of off camera. We had this fun like pool where we were trying to predict the books that would be 
uh, long listed for the Giller, then short listed for the Giller. So like we had some fun around that, but we did we didn't do anything in terms of like reviewing books or talking about books on camera, which was the idea behind this goal. We were pretty um, underwhelmed with the Giller this year. So uh, of all years to not do something like this, I, I don't really feel bad about it. I just feel bad that I'm 0 for 5 on these goals. Next, I wanna to commit to reading specifically three books that I've been putting off or feels like far too long. East of Eden by John Steinbeck. She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. Songs for the Cold of Heart by Canadian Eric Dupont. Guess how many of the three books I've read? I'm, I'm, a ter I'm a terrible person. Why do I, why am I doing this? I would like to DNF no more than five books this year. Okay, this is a possibility. Unfortunately, I have nothing to prove whether or not this is true because I didn't, I did not track my reading last year. I didn't have a spreadsheet or anything like that. I didn't use Goodreads. So this is going to be kind of on faith. Um, did I DNF five books? I, more than five books. I, you know, <laughs> I probably, yeah, I did. I definitely DNF more than five books. I'm just considering all the books that I like bought and even like returned to the, the uh the store i bought them from because they were just i thought they were terrible so like the next day i'm like no i'm gonna return this it's, i'm not gonna read it i think i did that more than five times so like just dnfs in general that uh, yeah that, uh another failure this this didn't happen i also want to finally read the wicked quadrilogy by uh gregory mcguire uh no <laughs> i did i didn't read this i read wicked again i reread wicked again earlier in the year and loved it. Wicked is just like one of my favorite books of all time. But there's something that happens to my brain after I read Wicked. I just, I can't read the, the other three because like I've been told so many times that like it's so the high watermark for the series and it just kind of gets worse after that. But like, I, I just want to prove that for myself. Um, but apparently I can't. Um, yeah, 0 for 8. Next, I want to film at least six more mystery book recommendations in 2021. Did I have six people do mystery book recommendations for me this year? No, I had one and it was like at the end of the year. Why do any of you watch this channel? A lot of these plans did get kind of thrown off because, yeah, I was feeling kind of shitty in the spring and it, I think it kind of threw off my whole year in a lot of ways. And I think this was one of them. Like a lot of these goals were, if I didn't start them for the first six months of the year, I think I just got like downtrodden around the idea. And I just kind of, I was like, I'm not gonna actually do this. So I won't even bother starting. And I think this is one of them. Somewhere in the middle of 2021, I canceled my Audible subscription because I'm just sick of dealing with Amazon and giving that fucking monster more of my money. So since Bezos owns Audible, I canceled my Audible account, but I still have like 40 audiobooks that I've downloaded that I haven't finished. So in an effort to clear out my TBH pile, if you will, a to be heard pile, I want to listen to at least one of those audiobooks a month for the whole year. So 12 audiobooks by the end of the year. No, I didn't do that. Ah, I, yeah, I don't know how many audiobooks I listened to this year. It was a handful. I, I yeah, because I, I canceled my subscription. I do have those books in my library, but I canceled my subscription. So my brain doesn't go to audiobooks right now. I may have listened to like a hand, like four or five audiobooks last year. Uh, and those were like re-listen audiobooks. I don't, I don't know if I tackled a single new audiobook last year. Next, I want to continue on my quest of reading through Sarah Hall's bibliography, so I'm gonna read three of her books this year. Okay, I thought I'd done this one, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> so, at the, yeah, like, like by the time November rolled around, it was the first time all year I'd started to consider these goals, and I'm like, oh, can I actually do some of them? Because I know that I had finished basically none at that point. Um, and I wanted to read three uh, Sarah Hall books and three Richard Russo books this year. And I thought I'd only read the, like two Sarah Hall. I read The Electric Michelangelo and then I read The Car Holland Army. And then I was gonna read uh, How to Paint a Dead Man. I ordered it, I have it here. And then I thought I'd kind of done the math on it and realized that the first Sarah Hall book that I'd read was actually in like January or something like that. So I'm like, oh, I actually already did read three books. And then I, I'm looking in the video right now and realizing that that first one that I read was in 2020, 
which means I did not read three books from her this year. And I thought, I thought I had this one done. I'm all for what, 11? In much the same vein, I'm also gonna pledge to read the next three books in Richard Russo's bibliography. I did not do that either. I read two Richard Russo books. I was gonna, the, the third one that I was gonna read was gonna be a short story collection of his. And I was reading it in December and I just ran out of reading steam. I don't, I think like the last three weeks of December, I didn't read a, I fi didn't finish like a single book. So I am officially 0 for 12. Remember at the start when I said I wanted to get five out of 21? I'm 0 for 12. My next goal is to buy no more than 10 new books in 2021. This is hilarious. Buy no more than 10 new books this year. I, I, I must have bought 50. Um, it's nowhere close to 10, whatever, whatever the number actually is. That is... That was just stupid. That was never gonna happen. I think 2021 is gonna be the year that I finally pull back the curtain and show you guys just how much of a gigantic nerd I am. Star Wars is doing such an interesting and exciting publishing event this year. So this is gonna be spread out over books and comics from adult books to YA to middle grade. Uh, no, I failed this one too. Uh, I started off really well. I read like three or four of the books that came out in like January and February. Um, but a couple more have come out throughout the year, which I have not read. And I have not spoken, I think, about any of them on the channel all year. I think I may have talked about one in my January wrap-up video very quickly, but I definitely didn't do like a concentrated effort towards this. I've enjoyed this so far, but I haven't been as sucked into it as I thought I would be. So I don't really feel bad about not doing this one, but... Um, yeah, it, this is just, this is getting shameful. Next is more of a daily challenge that I've kind of casually been doing over the last couple of years, but I really want to dedicate myself to it in 2021. And that's to read and reflect on a page from the Daily Stoic every single day next year. Ugh, this one hurts because I did this for a lot of my year. I, I love the Daily Stoic. I think it's super helpful. And I probably read this, you know, 200 days of the 365 days, but I wanted to read it every single day all year. This was kind of, that's kind of an ambitious, simple goal. Um, but it's like kind of reading one page a day essentially, but it's like every single day all year and which I, I definitely didn't do. So um, yeah, nope. Next, I want to commit to reading at least 50% women. Okay, so this one, ah, this was the one goal I really remembered before sitting down to film this. And I'm like, this is the one that I'm gonna actually have to calculate because I didn't, um, again, create a spreadsheet or keep a spreadsheet to track my reading this year. So all I could really do is go through the books that I still own that I haven't kind of given away or sold or lent out uh, just to see the books that I read last year that I know I read last year and just kind of break them down how many were men, how many were women. And it's exactly 50% of the ones that I still have here. It was 28 men, 28 women. So I have one. One out of 16 I did. So a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned on Instagram that I was floating around the idea of doing kind of a Middle Earth reading project. So I do want to commit in 2021 to at least read and talk about on the channel the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. No, I <laughs> I even like roped my friend Jen into doing this with me. And I read The Hobbit and started on Fellowship. And then I had to like pull the plug on her. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do this. Next is an idea that I'm totally stealing from my friend Jen. And that's um, committing to something called Graphic Novel Sundays. I did this for a good chunk of the year. I loved doing Graphic Novel Sundays, but I definitely didn't. Um, maintain it as a year-long thing. There was big stretches where I wouldn't do it. Then there were stretches where I would do it every Sunday of the month. But yeah, I I probably did this like two-fifths of my Sundays this past year. So eh, this is another failure. And the next and final reading prompt for myself in 2021 is to read at least five books from the uh, Books Are Beautiful series. Oh, uh, yeah, of the five books that I wanted to read from this series, I read one. <laughs> Goal number 20 is kind of a culmination of all the other goals that I've mentioned already in this video. And that is the fact that I wanna read 85 books in 2021. Did I read 85 books this year? Again, I didn't have a spreadsheet, didn't use Goodreads. So this is kind of 
another one that's kind of going on faith. Um, I know I had a lot of good reading months where I read 10, 12 books. Uh, there were some months that I was lower than that, but I feel fairly confident in saying that I read 85 books this year. I'm going to take this one potentially only out of pity, but I think I feel pretty optimistic that I did do that. So that's two, kind of. And finally, last one, let's check what it is. I don't even know. And last but not least, I want to try to hit 5,000 subscribers on my channel. Yay, I did this one and I just did this one. As If you follow my channel, you know, over the last couple of weeks, I hit 5,000 subscribers in the middle of December, end of December, somewhere around there. So I actually did do this one. This is actually one that makes me kind of proud because it was a bit ambitious. 5,000 subscribers was doubling the size of my channel in a year and I did it. Um, I think I can thank the booktube spin for that. A lot of new people came aboard uh, when I started doing that. So if you are a new subscriber in 2021, thank you. You got me to my, probably my most important goal of the year. So thank you. That was a nice um, one to end on. But if you've been following along, I hit three of 21 goals in 2021. And I can't believe how pathetic that is. When I said five at the start of the video, that was almost mostly for comedic effect. I, I legitimately thought I would get more than that just out of purely by accident, but I, I didn't. So the ones that I hit, I read 50% women at least, read 85 books this year, hit that one, and got 5,000 subscribers this year. I hit that one. So those were three of the more important, big, broad ones, which is kind of nice. So I don't know if I'm going to film a 2022 reading goals video. This was mortifying, so I don't think I'm going to do one this year. I don't have, I, I, I don't have many set, or any really set goals for this coming year. There's a couple of changes I wanna make just in my reading life, but I don't wanna make kind of a dedicated video for it because as we've seen today, what is the fucking point? I'm going to track my reading this year. I'm on a spreadsheet with the aforementioned Jill and Aaron this year, which is very exciting. So we're all tracking our uh, reads together. So I'm gonna be doing that this year. And I want to give myself the permission to read slower, read fewer books. I felt that kind of urge last year to read more, read more, read more, to kind of like fill up each month to have kind of like a nice wrap up to do each month, which I just, I hate that kind of stuff. And it's like, that's not what you should be doing this for. It's not what I want to be doing this for. I want to read enough books that I feel comfortable making a video and talking about every one that I read. So when you, the more books you read, the more impossible that feels. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want my channel in 2022 to more accurately reflect my reading life for the year. That being said, why would you believe me that I'm going to do that? I thought this was going to be funny and it ended up just being sad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like legitimately demoralized after doing this. My name is Rick McDonnell and apparently I'm a liar. See you guys in a couple days. Bye.